Hey, 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 everybody. It's your girl, Danny P, and I am coming to you with a new YouTube video, and I know that I am new. So what I want you to do is hit the red subscribe button, okay? And so that way you can get alerts and updates when Danny P go live. I've been so following this girl. Um, Her name is Asia, I think I'm saying it right. But I've been following, looking at a lot of her makeup um techniques, mostly her skincare routines, and I have not like incorporated like her skincare products because I've been using my Uology line, but just like just changing up just um some of the daytime and nighttime routines and the different serums and everything like that has made a big difference in my um skin as you can see. So enough chatting Talking. and you can catch me on Instagram at purely blessed lashes. Okay, Instagram Facebook, um, Danielle Peterson. So let's jump into this quick tutorial and I am going to try to do it per um with the products that I have used in Asia's techniques. Okay, let's go. So no matter what, it's a crime not to prime. So I am going to be using the um, Unique um, Touch Glorious Hydrating Primer. As I'm getting older, I need hydration. I like it, it has a little pump on it as well. I'm just going to do, I usually just put it straight on my face, but I just want you to see how hydrating it really is. It's really lightweight. Okay. The consistency of it. And I am just going to prime my face. And what I like to do, um, is prime, 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 let that sit. So I'll prime everything first. And then do like my brows and everything else and jump into it, okay? So now I'm going to use the Unique Mousse Struck Eye Primer. And like I said, I do all my priming first. So that way, it gives it a chance to kind of set in, you know, for a couple of minutes before we actually start applying our um, makeup, okay? And this is just the eye primer. Boom. So I hope the lighting is good enough. Like I said, I'm just starting out, trying to find a space to see where I can get the most lighting, everything. So you can see, um, one day I'll do a video on one of my, my, what I'm suffering with, you know, so I get a lot of dark circles and dark eyes and all that good stuff, right? So what I am going to do now is just jump in. Some people put their foundation on first, then do their brows and all that other stuff. For whatever reason, I promise you, I feel like I just have to do my eyes first. I don't know. But actually, I want to do how Asia did it. So, she did color correct. This is just, to say conceal it. I think I got it at the local um, hair store. So, she did kind of like um, conceal. If you have dark, you know, like color correct. Just your little hot spots. And you know, I have a couple of blemishes as well. So that's all I'm doing is getting my hot spots. And then we're just going to blend that in.
Okay, so like I said, now that that's all blended in, I just literally put it where I needed to, okay? I am going to use a foundation stick, okay? I love it. It's so creamy. And it's by Unique, all right? Now, when I use a cream base or anything like that, I do like to use a kabuki brush because that basically that helps to move my product. Look at that, y'all. Look at the flawlessness. So I guess I'm not going to do what I normally do. I'm going to try to do it just like I've seen Asia do everything, okay? Notice I didn't put a lot of product on the forehead, and I'm just letting the brush spread it around and blend it in. And basically, she followed a routine. I want to say that one of the um, Kylie Jenner makeup artists or somebody, I don't know. But at any rate, I'm trying it. I looked at hers. We were about the same um, skin complexion and everything. So you see all of that goodness and the goodness and you see now the kabuki brush basically is just getting your product where you need it to be okay and now i'm gonna go in with a, a damp blending bud and i'm going to really blend the foundation everywhere make sure it's smooth And I feel like I'm getting like an overcast of light. I think just that little. Okay, next I'm going to take... Um, I seen her use two different ones and so I thought it was pretty cool. I'm going to actually use two different um no, I'll use the unique concealer. So this is unique concealer and I'm just shaking it up because I don't know how much I really have in these little containers. So I'm using one that's more of a flesh tone. And I'm going to put that right up under the top of my, under my eye, like the top part, okay? This is just what she did, like per -batum. And I was like, oh my gosh, so freaking nice, okay? Now I'm going in with the lighter concealer. Right underneath it. And I am going to take the um, firmer blending bud and we're going to blend that in. Look at that. 
and I'm not smearing it. I'm literally just like dabbing it in, okay? And letting the um, blending bud move the product. How freaking nice is that? See the coverage? Very, very subtle. Very, very um, nice. Now I'm going to get a translucent setting powder. And it's translucent. And I'm going to use a brush to kind of put right where we put that concealer at. Some people use a blending bud, you can use a blending bud. I'm just using this brush, okay? And it is translucent, the powder that I'm using. Now that I've done that, I do have, now watch, I can't find it. I guess I should have gotten everything out. Oh, good. Is this my, I don't know if it's my deep or my dark, but anyway, it's a contour stick. I don't even think we really make it anymore. And it does have the um, the highlight on the other side. I'm not going to do like. A whole, whole lot there. But I cannot find my other um, blending bud. So we are going to try this brush. I don't think I've ever tried this brush to kind of contour, but here we go. Here goes nothing. And I'm blending it back into my hairline to add the warmth back, okay? And then because I have product left over, I'm just going to come into this jawline with the same product.
and I'm just blending that contour out. See that? Nice, right? Okay. So now that I did that, now I will go back to my um, blending butt here. And we're just going to blend out that highlight. And your highlight is basically everywhere the natural highlight light hit it. Okay. I'm going to dust off that little bit of powder we put on earlier. It's okay. I'm going to grab what I like to do too while I'm doing my makeup is to get my mascara all good and liquidy. I put it inside my bra so it can be up against my body heat and what good it'll be good by the time I get ready to get done, right? Okay. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I'm just going to get um, a powder and we are going to set that contour with this powder. Now back to the um, translucent powder as well. I'm gonna try this with a brush. I'll tell you because some people having that good old defined lines. Translucent, translucent. Looking for my bronzer. This is the beachfront bronzer. And it's not that it's going to do a whole, whole lot, but we could top it off with a little something. Like I said, I'm doing something different as well. It's not my normal. I would have done my eyes first. That's just... A personal preference but I'm trying to and like I said don't know wash from brushes last like no there we go that's what I was looking for okay so anywho now we're just gonna go while that's waiting I was did all that and that thing is wet okay 
We're just gonna act like that didn't happen. We'll use this to brush up those brows. Okay, so there goes that as far as makeup application. Well, let's dust it off, okay? The eyes. I'm going to be using the Obsession Brow Palette. You can tell I love this <laughs> baby. Okay. You can tell I love it, love it, love it. Boom, one eyebrow snatched and done. And what I do is I just lightly dip it in the gel a little bit and then into this darker palette. I kind of get the product and then I just line, you know, doing like soft strokes. I just follow the natural shape of the brow. And I know you can't see it on camera, but then I kind of reposition my brush to get the rest of the product and fill in that brow. And then I just like to softly brush the innards, the front of the brow, just to kind of fade it out. And then if you need to fill it back in, I don't dip back into the gel, I just grab the powder. I really feel like my light, I have to work on this lighting situation here. I do. I'm just squeezing out a little bit of concealer in order to clean up the brow to make it sharp, sharp. I don't even know which light is giving me that. I'm gonna see flashback. And notice I didn't go all the way down 
you know, it depends on the look. Sometimes I bring it all the way down and sometimes I don't. But at any rate, you do what makes you comfortable. Boom, boom, bada boom, bada, bada boom. Then we're just gonna dab that on out without disturbing that brow. And then if you need to go back in with your brush, to touch the possible hot spots, then you do so, okay? So, now that we've done that, I'm just gonna take the rest of what I have on the brush, just to kind of make the top sharp. And then the same thing, just, um, oh, I'm using the wrong brush, blending brush. And then just go ahead look at that. And then you have your good old brows. So now, like I said, usually I would have already done my, um, what do you call it? My eyes. I usually do that first. I am going to spray a set and spray first. So, once again, thank you for joining your girl, Danny P. I am doing a look that I saw from Asia as far as like her process and makeup applications. I wanted to try it. I'm pretty much using all of um, Unique products do, 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 do. and now we will go into the eyes once i find my palette This is a unique blending brush. I love it because it really is just, um, when I'm pressed for time like now, this color is gingerly, so like a light brown. Just was dabbing out the little concealer that I saw. And gingerly is my transition color. Like on my skin tone, it gives me this really nice sun kissed look. Like no matter what color I use, it is so pretty. I'll show it in a minute, but it is just a nice. I was shocked that the color um, really showed up on my skin. And like I said, no matter what color I use up underneath it, it does. It gives it this really nice sun-kissed look. And so I'm using this color gingerly. Now I'm going to go in same brush um, with a brown. And this is earthly, I do believe. It's just a darker brown. And we're going to go right into that hood. Now, the eye look, um, she didn't really do much of an eye look on the video. You know, she kind of came off camera. 
So this is just me shooting it um, from the hip <laughs> with a beginner eye look. And I'm constantly looking up in a way because I have a hooded eye. And you have to blend and blend and blend and blend and blend and blend and blend, blend y'all. And I'm really just pulling that color up. And I'm not going to go into like a cut crease or anything. I just kind of want to show y'all a simple look. I'm going to grab this green here. It's just a nice little shimmer. And look at this. I'm just going to tap that. Look how pigmented that shimmer is. And then I'm just going to kind of reposition the brush just to blend that in with the color earthly, like literally. But do you see how pigmented that color was? And I only picked up a little bit, y'all. I did not pick up um, a whole lot of color. I did not. I'm going to go back with my fluffy blendy brush here just to soften this up. And to blend it some more. So this could be a beginner look for any one. I use three colors. My light transition color in Gingerly. And then I went in with Earthly. And I honestly cannot tell you what that color is until I go look and find but I use gingerly, earthly, and then this green um, shimmer. That's what it was. And do you see how nice and simple? And all I'm doing right now, I hate that for whatever reason, is light. Now I have to work up on my lighting and I'm just blending that out now what I did see Asia do that I thought was really 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 cool even though I'm not doing that right now but I will because I saw this nice little um a darker bronzer So, now hopefully I can find it in all of this foolery. Yes, I found it. She used two different blushes, which I thought was really, 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 really awesome. So, I'm going to use a unique blush. This one is in um, Scandalous. Look at that, okay. And this one is in um, Surreal. Now, this is a darker mauve, and I'm just trying it, okay? Let's see if I can find my. So, I'm gonna do the mauve one here. And what I thought was interesting of what she did was she went up into the highlighted area. 
just on the cheeks. A little smirk here. That's all for that. She really did blend up too, okay? And then I'm gonna go with the um, Scandalous. Now this one is very pigmented, so I'm just gonna tap the brush, okay? And I thought what was nice is I saw her bring it up into her um, highlight, and then she did it in circular motions, which usually I'm used to seeing people kind of like swipe it upward. And you see how it give, I know my lighting isn't the best, but it gives you this nice, soft baby doll look. And that's why I was like, oh my gosh. It was really, 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 really nice, okay? And this highlight is gonna be Belize. It is by Unique as well, okay? I think they've, um, discontinued it so i'm so sorry i don't think they have it they might bring it back i don't know but it's a powder Not the brush I usually use either, but I have no idea where my favorite highlight brush is. I have no idea. But I feel like my lighting is off for whatever reason. But can y'all see the goodness? Okay. So now that we've got that out the way, I feel like I have to find a liner. I think I'm gonna go with a dark color. So don't ask me why I line my lips with that color. It'd be like that kind of color. But the lipstick is by Unique. I love, love their lipsticks. They're creamy, they're moisturizing. And they're long lasting, okay? So guess what, y'all? Now, the fun part. Okay, I just have a fear of like touching my um, face with like the concealer and everything that's on the end of on the back of my hand so i had to wipe that off right quick so you can see the look came together look at that just that one little technique i saw her do with the blush 
Look at that. Isn't that really, really? Look at that. Look at the nose. Like, I'm really going to work on my lighting. I'm going to spritz my face again. And it makes it up glowy and stuff. So. Look at that. Yes. Okay. 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 Back to business. So. I don't know if you've ever used a lash primer. So I am going to use the Moose Struck Epic Lash Primer. Okay. So I hope that I could do a good... Um, I see this this flawless shout out to Asia. I'm like gonna take a picture. I don't even know how to really because that's how new I am. I don't even know how to upload a look or to show or anything. But I hope I did her look some justice. And it's more like I said, not about the products that she used at all. It was the technique, you know, and I know she used more powders. I just didn't have those. So I might go out and purchase them. Might go out and look at the video again, just to kind of see what it was that um, she had. Okay. I felt like I needed a liner. I was looking for my um, eyeliner, but if not, this would be fine. This would be fine. Anywho, I'm sorry. I'm going to use the lash primer and I'm gonna do one eye at a time. Nice little wand, right, full. And as you can see, I have no lashes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna prime the lashes. Some people have like really coarse lashes and I always have a lash that sticks out no matter what I do. This has helped with that and it kind of, it preps your lashes. So you see, I'm gonna back up so you can see. Now, remember we put that <laughs> mascara in our shirt. So this is the 4D fiber, one step fiber mascara. Even though I'm scraping the two with it, it's okay. And here it goes. It's... Y'all see that? Like, oh my gosh. What? Oh my God, look at that. And that's just one coat, my friends, okay? So while that's sitting and doing what it's doing, I'm gonna go to the other, other eye.
and you see what the lash primer does it softens those lashes and already go ahead and help and now what i like to do as i'm shimmying i'm twirling when i get to like the tip i kind of do a little blink because you have a short side and a long side on this wand. What do y'all see this? Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. Super excited about the lash primer. It's like, I told y'all I'm new to the game. So like, where, why haven't y'all told me about the lash primer, ladies and gents? Why haven't you told me? Now I'm going in for my second coat. And honestly, I do need a new tube. I'm, I am really, um, I really decided to just come do this video because I'm trying to do better and become more consistent and more accountable. Yeah, look at that. And that, my friends, is the end of the video. I hope that I did Miss Asia um, some justice. I'm going to tag her or figure out how to do it on YouTube, how to tag somebody. And if you know and you see this video, you know, shoot it in the comments and let me know how to tag somebody on YouTube so I, they can see that I did their, their look. You see that, 4D? Okay, so anyway, thank you for joining your girl, Danny P. And if you have not, make sure you subscribe. Like I said, I am new. I'm excited about this makeup journey. And look at this flawless coverage. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. Hey. Hey, it's Danny P. Hey, it's Danny P. Hey, it's Danny P. So thank you for joining your girl. Catch you on the next episode.